Welcome to Goat Ranch. I'm kind of excited. I have this. Doesn't look like much. However, this will be my human analog. That's right, I'm going to be testing body armor. So, there's this body armor, which was the level 3A body armor that I was telling you guys about a while ago. It is, um, it has stopped a 44 Magnum, and this particular one has been shot. However, I have restored it to the full specs. And so right now it's just as strong in this duct tape backing. That's not providing extra armor. That's just keeping the back from puckering out like it did last time. Which, yes, has happened. So I'm hoping I will be shooting this with a 7.62x39 and a 5.56 NATO round. By the way, I'm sorry about not uploading. I've just been having computer issues, but I built a brand new computer. That looks much better. This human analog. So right now it's just stuffed with rags that simulates softness. And I have these dowel rods in here, which, I mean, they have some flex to them, but these are to simulate ribs. Not exact, but what can I say? I'm a redneck. I mean, look at my shirt. So I have these ribs set up right here. So the bullet impacts, boom. It'll probably spread these apart, so I'll probably just have bought baling wire holding the ribs together so that way they don't kind of force apart if that makes sense so these are the ribs bullet goes in spreads it apart in reality i want it to be like this so that way if it breaks it's gonna or if it gives it's gonna break the the ribs ideally i also want to see how much internal trauma there is going to be but i have this bag of water and that's going to be sitting on the inside of it. And so ideally, if this thing pops, that simulates internal bleeding and therefore a trip to the hospital. So really I'm testing out not only if this body armor will stop it, but I'm also testing whether or not, or just how much damage it does, it would do to a person who is wearing it. So the body armor itself, so on front I have one inch tiles, then I have a layer of Revlar, but the tiles have a bigger gap and that breaks up the bullet. Then I have uh, bigger tiles like this with a smaller gap and that's going to break up the bullet even further. And then I have probably around 50-ish pages, maybe 75-ish pages of plain white printer paper. So you can see the layer of Revlar, layer of Revlar paper tile, Revlar, and smaller tiles. Prices, I should probably mention that. I don't know the exact prices, but just speculation here. This sheet of tile is around $7 a square foot, which this is one square foot of tile. And then the other one might be like eight or $9, so that's $15, right? And then you have the paper, $5, so $20 in total. Then you would have your Revlar, which you could probably pick those up, talk to a farmer or whatever who has chickens, 50 cents each. So it would be like three burlap bags for that, 60 cents or like 50 cents a piece, something like that. Maybe a dollar, I don't know, they're, they're pretty cheap. And then, so that brings a total, we'll go um, exaggerate and be a dollar, so that would be an extra three dollars which brings our total up to twenty uh, three dollars and then the roll of duct tape so uh, seven dollars so that brings the total of materials thirty dollars for one plate but then you actually get a discount because that ream of 200 paper you can use to make the other plate so the other plate is going to be essentially twenty eight dollars twenty seven dollars something like that so you can have a full vest for like $28 or a full vest for $60.
I think the cheapest body armor plate you can get is, I think it's $80, like $88, and that's at air500armor.com. Yeah, I can give you a quick pan of my lighting setup. So I have that light right there, which is held up on that tripod. And then I have this light right here, which is shining, lighting up my background. Now this cardboard shielding it so it's not lighting up my face. Thanks for watching Goat Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time.